hello everyone welcome back to my channel so this is again an important question for the mathematics 21 math cs41 so find the coefficient of correlation and line of regression for the data below so x is given and y is given the values of x are given and y are given now i have to calculate uh, find the coefficient of correlation this one i have to find out and lines of regression so for the coefficient of correlation there is one formula which you have to remember over there that is r is equal to summation of x minus x bar y minus y bar and uh, divided by under root of a uh, summation of x minus x bar whole square under root of summation of y minus y bar whole square let's see this x bar what does this mean and what does y bar mean and what we have to calculate in this particular question first of all we need this particular x bar and y bar right then we need x minus x bar whole square and y minus y bar whole square it is summation when we get this particular term uh, x minus x bar and y minus y bar whole square then accordingly we can get a summation summation means the sum of the terms over there so let me draw first this x y in the column form over here that is x y and what we have to need here that is uh, y bar and x bar so this uh, x and y are given right so this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 and y is given 2 uh, 5 3 8 and 7 right we have to calculate this x bar y bar let me tell you first what is this x bar and y bar so uh, let me calculate first it x bar is equal to you have to add these term x terms you have to add and then divide then divide by the number of terms what are the number of terms in this particular case that is first of all you just add 2 plus 1 that is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 10 and uh, 5 is 15 right so 15 upon number of terms that is 1 2 3 4 5 are the number of terms you have to divide this so you will get x bar x bar is equal to 3 so x bar we are getting here 3 let me make it box for it so later on we will use it so x bar is equal to 3 so y bar accordingly you have to add these terms that is 5 plus 2 that is 7 plus 3 10 18 18 uh, plus 7 is 25 right so 25 upon 5 that is 5 so y, y bar you are getting here 5 right so now you have to calculate x minus x bar so x minus x bar we have to make a column for it y minus y bar we have make column for it then you need x minus x bar whole square so x minus x bar whole square and y minus y bar whole square right then you need this summation of this multiplication term that is x minus x bar into y minus y bar let me make a separate column for it that is x minus x bar into y minus y bar so these are this is the table we have completed the table over here so now it is the time to calculate values for these particular cases then we can make a what we call then we can put these values in the particular formula so let me tell you x minus x bar x is here 1 x bar is 3 so 1 minus 3 is minus 2 so i will just write down the values now directly so that the video will not get too long so this is minus 1 this is 0 1 2 and this will become minus 3 0 minus 2 3 2 right this, it will become 6 0 and 0 3 4 are you getting my point this is x minus x bar whole square so x minus x bar is 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 2 uh, minus 3 that is minus 1 3 minus 3 is 0 right accordingly then x minus x bar whole square you have to do that is my uh, x minus x bar whole square so it will become minus 2 into 2 that is 4 over here sorry this is 4 right then minus 1 uh, whole square that is 1 over here 1 and 0 whole square is 0 1 is 1 over here then 4 accordingly right then y minus y bar whole square it will we, are, we will get 9 0 4 9 4 I, I hope you will do this uh, type of calculation it is a very simple one then x minus x bar and y minus y bar you have to do multiplication in uh, it means you have to do multiplication with uh, these two terms that is x bar x minus x bar y minus y bar you have to do multiplication that is minus 2 into minus 3 that is 6 minus 1 into 0 that is 0 0 into minus 2 is 0 3 into 1 is 3 and 2 into 2 is 4 over here so we have completed the table over here now we have uh, need of this summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar that means this term you have to do summation that is 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 3 is 9 plus 4 is 13 so we are getting here summation of this term is equal to 13 and you have uh, need of this particular summation that is x minus x bar whole square it is summation that is 4 plus 1 is 5 6 4 that is 10 over here summation is equal to 10 and y minus y bar whole square it is summation 9 plus 4 is 13 
13 plus 4 is 17 17 plus 9 is 20 6 over here so we are getting summations right accordingly these terms if we will get summation so you will get summation of x is equal to 15 summation of y is equal to 25 over here now we know that this particular formula r is equal to summation of x minus x bar right r is equal to let me put the values now so summation of these uh, this term so we are getting it over here that is 13 r is equal to 13 upon root of summation of x minus x bar whole square so x minus x bar is here so it is summation is here 10 right so root 10 into root of summation of y minus y bar that is you are getting here 26 so uh, this will be under root 26 when you calculate it you will approximately get r is equal to 0 0.806 calculation part is yours so i am make it making i am trying to make it very short video over here right so this is a coefficient of correlation already done here coefficient of correlation now we have to find out the lines of regression right so let me tell you the second formula this is the step number two so formula you have to memorize that is uh, first of all there are two lines of regressions that is y on x and x on y so line of regression line of regression y on x right it will be equal to y minus y bar is equal to r of sigma times y sigma times x and x minus x bar no need to remember just con conceptual uh, when it is y on x you have to write down y on the left hand side and x on the right hand side so y minus y bar you have to do and x minus x bar you have to do likewise then if it is y on x so sigma y by sigma x r is the coefficient of correlation which you have already calculated in the above step right so let me calculate this one now in this particular uh, formula we need sigma x and sigma uh, sigma y and sigma x so for this uh, you have to memorize this you have to remember this sigma y is equal to under root of 1 upon n summation of y minus y bar whole square and for sigma x is equal to under root of 1 by n accordingly here summation of x minus x bar whole square right so we will calculate first sigma y and sigma x over here so sigma y is equal to under root of 1 upon number of terms already 5 in the question right so 1 2 3 4 5 are the number of terms then summation of this uh, y minus y bar term so you are getting already here y minus y bar this is whole square correct huh? uh, so y minus y bar whole square summation is 26 right so it becomes 26 so sigma y is equal to 26 upon 5 you will approximately get 2.280 so this is the sigma y then sigma x is equal to under root of 1 by n that is 1 upon 5 summation of x minus x square you are getting here that is 10 so into 10 you have to do so sigma x you are getting 1.414 now we are getting this sigma y and sigma x we have to put these values in this particular equation so let me put it so y minus y bar already you have calculated in this step that is y bar is equal to 5 so y minus 5 is equal to r r already you have find out here 0 0.806 into sigma y upon sigma x sigma y is 2.280 upon sigma x is 1.414 1.414 into x minus x bar x minus x bar is already given right already calculated in the first step itself so x minus 3 so you will get y equation as y is equal to 1.3x plus 1.1 you are getting here so this is the line of regression y on x right you just do this multi multiplication part it is very simpler one then line of regression regression x on y accordingly you can make this formula now so if it was y minus y bar so now i can write x on y x minus x bar is equal to r it was sigma y by sigma x so it will become sigma x upon sigma y right then y minus y bar only difference is that so this is x minus x bar y minus y bar when it is x on y so let me put these values now x minus x bar already calculated 3 in the first step so is equal to r already calculated 0 0.806 into sigma x already here 1.414 upon sigma y is already here 2.280 2.280 right into y minus y bar y bar is already calculated in the first step that is 5 so when you calculate this term just shift the, this 3 on the right hand side it will become positive and just do the little bit cal uh, calculation over there so you will get x is equal to 0 0.5 y plus 0 0.5 so this is the answer for this particular question so already this is the line of regression these are the two lines of regression for the y and x 
and this is the our coefficient of correlation value that is 0 0.806 so this much is the question and it is a very important question as far as vtu examination is concerned so focus on just try uh, two to three problems are enough uh, on this particular concept and you just go through the r part there are two chapters as you already know so in the second part uh, second part is, second part is easier one so you can easily convert 20 marks in this particular uh, module over here as i already discussed uh, two problems on this particular module you can go through i will just provide links in the description box so that you will easily convert 20 marks for this particular module over here so thanks for watching my video